Pew Research Center. I don't know. It's interesting, particularly in the context of uh, Mitt Romney's binder story. <laughs> Apparently now there's like an entire cottage industry uh, built up around uh, Mitt Romney's binder. The my favorite is Amazon binder reviews have been flooded with like women sold separately and that type of thing. <laughs> what one was like this binder was too small for my women or something like that. And you know the the interesting uh, angle on this that a couple of people have pointed out on the binder story is that Mitt Romney basically came out and said I mean despite the fact that he well I mean look. Did he lie about the story? Yes. Somebody somebody actually commented uh, yesterday that I undersold how big of a lie it was. Because he did not request a binder of, of suggestions as to which women he could hire in his, his administration. The binder was already pre-assembled for him by a uh, women, a uh, bipartisan group of women who'd, who had got together, assembled this to give to whoever won the governor's race in Massachusetts. So he fibbed a little bit, made it look like he was uh, looking for suggestions as to how he could bring some type of gender parity to his administration. But the interesting thing is, is what he's espousing is fundamentally a fairly good argument for affirmative action. In other words, that we've got to go out of our way to make sure that we have some type of fair representation of the general population. At the end of the day, this is the entire theory and, for the most part, the total practice of what we consider affirmative action in this country. Now, you're not going to hear anybody say to Mitt Romney, it's nice to see you uh, embrace affirmative action and have him respond to this. Uh, but that's the reality of it. And it, it just uh, an interesting poll in Pew Research that came out, um, I, guess, uh, I guess it was from last year. But young women now surpass young men in importance they place on having a high-paying career or profession. It's according to uh, Pew, two-thirds, 66% of young women ages 18 to 34 rate career high on their list of life priorities compared with 59% of young men. In 1997, 56% of young women and 58% of young men felt the same way.